Hey, goof. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, boy. Go get it. Hey, everyone. It's Karen from Mayfly Life. I'm just coming to the shed here and checking out my next project. This is pallet board. I'm going to be doing something interesting with it. Stay tuned. Okay. I've got brackets here that I am going to be spray painting. And I need to spray paint them black. And what I'm doing here is I bought these in the hardware section at my Home Depot. And what it does is it lowers the cost. So what I've got here are $1.99 brackets that I'm going to be using for my shelving in my bathroom. And I would rather pay $1.99 than the upwards of $12 per bracket. So what I'm doing is I'm just spray painting all sides with this nice black. And if I have to go over it again, I will. What I did was I had to move my car back. <laughs> it's right here because it was right in the line of fire. And it's like I said, I'm just giving it a quick coat. And this is quick drying. It's just a regular uh, ultra cover uh, paint and primer and it's a gloss black. And these are gonna act as my brackets for my shelving over my toilet because I need more shelving. So these are done and they're pretty much covered. I'll just make sure that they're nicely covered. And you use an old hanger, you know, and I just had some copper wire from my jewelry making and I just wrap them around to hang them. And these will be ready in no time. So let's get to it. Okay. So here I'm determining how high I want my... Uh, First shelf to go. I'm going to go about 21 inches. <clears throat> so I've got marks here uh, and level uh, because what I did was I used my uh, marked wear from the height wise and then I used my level to uh, to make sure that this was indeed level and it is that between the two marks. So it does it's not rocket scientists science to um, to actually uh, figure out where uh, how high you want it how um, from your first shelf and so forth uh, I've also put a mark uh, in the center because I measured the width of my toilet and I um, I'll show you here I uh, measured the width of my toilet lid and got a dead center so what I did was I put a mark here to uh, make sure that uh, I had it uh, centered so now what I'm going to do is uh, check to see where the studs are located with my stud finder and uh, then uh, determine where I can put my anchors and my, my screws okay so now I've got my stud finder and I'm going to determine where the studs are. OK, 
Okay, there's a stud there. Yeah. You can tell. You hear the difference? That's more hollow, and this is more solid. So then I'm going to move over here and see where my other stud is. Okay, I'm coming up to one. Now these appear to be about 16 inch on center. Okay, that's good. So then it's over here. So this whole area here is like free space uh, because um, meaning I'm going to need uh, need to use anchors in order to support the, sh the shelving brackets and then plus two to support the shelves. flush with the wall. Actually kind of blends in. <laughs> it's nice. So what I've got is I've located my uh, where I want my stud or where I want my first bracket. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take a look and see where that first hole is. Make sure it's level and I'm going to pencil another mark but I want to make sure that this is level okay now I've determined that this is uh, pretty level uh, by my bubble here I've got my little little guy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the bottom hole where the uh, next uh, anchor is going to go just pull this out. And get my anchor ready. And I'm just going to center it right in the middle. Nope, that's fine. It's just very difficult to get into. Okay, and if you get a little bit of... Uh, Chipping, that's fine because uh, the stud or the bracket will actually cover it up. So that's that's fine. Or if you want, you can touch it up with a, a little bit of paint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first bracket and my first screw and put it in. it doesn't it doesn't cover up that anchor okay the bottom anchor that is there nice and strong nice and sturdy so then uh, I'm going to measure out from the uh, this uh, anchor here and go to the other side. Okay, as you can see I've got my level on top and I'm just taking a look at the level, uh, the bubble, and I've already marked the two inch mark inside uh, the center of my, my toilet and I'm just butting this second bracket up against it, against the, the mark, and making sure that it's level. And indeed, it is level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark the holes where the other anchors are going to go. So I found my, uh, my second, uh, where my second anchor, uh, anchors are going to go. And now all I have to do is...
I'll screw them in. So I'll just get the one started, get the next one, and just screw them in. So now I've got uh, my two uh, brackets on, and then uh, I'll do the uppers for the second shelf, and then I'll determine uh, what type of wood I want. Uh, I'm, I was looking at uh, doing pallet wood uh, but, uh, and recycling, but I was thinking too is that the pallet wood has been outside, uh, mice have actually run across it. They maybe have uh, done their business on it. So uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to use that uh, and, and sand it out and, uh, and clean it as best I can. But I don't really want to take that chance. So I'm, I'm looking at uh, getting uh, uh, recycling uh, uh, some deck boards that I've got. So we'll see. See how it works out. What I'm going to do is from the bottom of the bracket, I'm going to measure up 18 inches, 16 or 18 inches. I'll, I'll take a look and see how it looks and then uh, determine um, where, my next, where my next brackets are going to go. So up here, I've got my, uh, that's too high. So even like 12 inches would probably be from, from the bottom bracket to the next, to the top the top of my bracket here to the top of the, the next bracket. So then the, the lower portion here is going to be lower, but I want the top of my bracket about 12 inches from the top of this bracket. Now when I spray painted the screw heads for the anchors, um, I just did the head. I don't, you don't have to do the, the threads because what's the point? They're going to get buried anyway. So. Don't tighten it up completely. Okay, now I can. And they're all done. So now all I have to do is put, uh, decide on the shelving and uh, get those up. Okay, so I managed to find an old shelf that I had that uh, I took down actually from my daughter's room uh, and I decided I'm going to go with this. So I cut these down with the uh, circular saw and their boards are 20 inches long, uh, wide so I made them 7 inches deep which was uh, deeper than the 6, uh, six inch uh, deck board which is perfect which is what I wanted. And so now I've got the top shelf done, the bottom shelf done. All I need to do is paint it and uh, screw it in and it's done. <sighs> what a chore. <laughs> Trying just to find the wood itself just for the shelves was, uh, was fun. And I'm, I couldn't be more pleased because I didn't have to spend any more money. So you can see I've uh, painted my um, the first coat of my shelves here. And what I'm going to do is I figured I'm going to match because this is just too white. So um, I want to add some uh, dark wax to it. Uh, to protect the shelves because uh, they really it's it's not a high uh, use uh, these are not going to be high use uh, shelves they're more decorative and for uh, you know holding uh, some of my uh, bathroom supplies like uh, face cloths and so forth uh, and uh, the odd uh, 
you know, basket and stuff uh, with uh, other uh, bathroom paraphernalia. So this is what I'm going to do. So you can see how I've uh, how I've determined uh, the, the the distance for the brackets from the toilet is I measured I measured off from the side here and up. So uh, that's that's how you uh, determine where your shelves are going to be and uh, where your brackets. Because from here, I measured two inches over. So that's on uh, aligning this side of the bracket. So basically, that's that's how I determined where the the brackets were going to go. So they're two inches from the actual edge of uh, my toilet lid. And there you have it. So give it a go. I mean, it's uh, it's all about uh, trying your your uh, your best to do uh, do projects around your home. Uh, you don't have to call in a professional to do it because you can do it yourself. That's why it's called DIY. So give it a try. It's fun. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.